Some doors and you were turned around and you lost your money, lost your car, had no place to stay, sleeping in people's houses, on the floor, on their couch. How do you do that? How do you handle the times when you were borrowing money and couldn't pay it back? You felt humiliated. When people you love who didn't believe in you told you you ain't nothing. How do you fight that inner conversation? How do you keep on coming back again and again? You don't know what has happened to me when your life has been destroyed with drugs or alcohol or you've lost your business or lost your job or lost your home and you've been completely devastated. How do you come back? How can you tell me that there's a possibility I could come back? Oh, let me tell you something. All I want you to think about whatever you want to do, whatever goal you have, whatever dream you have, it's to reclaim your health. It's to have your own business, to have another job, to earn more money, to have a better life, to travel around the world, to help out children, to make the environment better, whatever it is. Here's what I want you to stand on this, this one statement, on this benchmark. Just say to yourself, it's possible. See, if I'd said five years ago, I'm going to make five years from now, one million dollars in one year, and I hadn't made $10,000. My mind would say, that's impossible. Come on. So I think the reason that most people don't reach their goals and many of the people that started out with me that gave up and stopped and they became frustrated, they said, I can do it. I'm not asking you to say, I can do it. No, don't say that. No, no, no. I don't even want you to believe you can do it. No, no. That's not a requirement. All you need to do to get out in the arena of life is to say, it's possible. How many of you know people who moan and groan and complain about life all the time, all right? They might moan and groan about their job. I'm sick of this job. I'm sick of you. And they just moan and groan and complain all the time and never do anything about it. They haven't got to the point where they're sick and tired of being sick. And you will never remember the days and nights you stay home and do nothing. Who brings you the most peace should get the most time. If you are ever tempted to look for outside approval, realize that you have compromised your integrity. Epictetus Sometimes it's a blessing to not get what you want. Never forget that the only person that cares about your hopes and dreams is you. The only person that is going to make them happen is you. Gratitude is the mother of all qualities. Jay Shetty He that hath not won in the self-same general end always as long as he liveth cannot possibly be won and the self-same man always. But this will not suffice except thou add also what ought to be this general end. For as the general conceit and apprehension of all those things which upon no certain ground are by the greater part of men deemed good cannot be uniform and agreeable, but that only which is limited and restrained by some certain proprieties and conditions, as of community, that nothing be conceived good, which is not commonly and publicly good, so must the end also that we propose unto ourselves be common and sociable. For he that doth direct all his own private motions and purposes to that end, all his actions will be agreeable and uniform, and by that means will be still the same man. And let neglect stack up on me so that I will have the sorry scenario six years from now giving some excuse instead of celebrating my progress. That's the key to discipline. Okay? Let's get kids involved in the least of disciplines. One more and then one more and then another one and then another one and then some more. And the first thing you know, you're starting to weave the tapestry of a disciplined life into which you can pour more wisdom and more attitude and more strong feeling, more faith and more courage. Now you've got something, a vessel in which to put it. And now the equities start to flow. And the early return, I'm telling you, if you'll start this process, the early return will have you so excited. You'll commit yourself to this strategy for the rest of your life. You'll never go back to the old ways. Join a new crowd. Join a new group. The discipline's to do it. Take action. Now here's the other side of discipline. 
If there's considerable time that passes between the moment of awareness and the time of our implementation, then that is called procrastination. Procrastination. Doing it tomorrow instead of today. Procrastination. An almost exact opposite of discipline. The voice within us says, get it done. Discipline then says, do it now. Do it to the best of your ability, today. Tomorrow and always, until finally, the worthy deed becomes instinctive. Procrastination says later, tomorrow, whenever I get a chance. Procrastination also says, do what is necessary to get by or to impress others. Do what you can, but not what you must. In every circumstance we face, we are constantly presented with these two choices. Do it now or do it later. Discipline and procrastination. A choice between a disciplined existence... Bearing... People don't get what they deserve. What can happen at any time can happen today. The best way to overcome the suffering of life is to stop clinging to the things of life. Buddha. Expect nothing, appreciate everything. Courage is not having the strength to go on. It is going on when you don't have the strength. You are the master of your own destiny, Neville Goddard. Do nothing against thy will, nor contrary to the community, nor without due examination, nor with reluctancy. Affect not to set out thy thoughts with curious neat language. Be neither a great talker, nor a great undertaker. Moreover, let thy God that is in thee to rule over thee, find by thee that he hath to do with a man, an aged man, a sociable man, a Roman, a prince, one that hath ordered his life as one that expecteth, as it were, nothing but the sound of the trumpet, sounding a retreat to depart out of this life with all expedition, one who for his word or actions neither needs an oath, nor any man to be a witness. ...to keep thine eyes single, so you can align yourself and get ready to win, to create the next greatest version of yourself. I reinvented myself. You can reinvent yourself. Start asking yourself, what is it? What talents, what gifts, what miracle working power in me I haven't called on yet? Greater is he as in you than he that's in the world. You got miracle working power. You're here for a reason. You've been chosen. You've been picked out to be picked on because you have miracle working power in you. There's something in you the world needs. You are going down the wrong path. And so, you know what? There's been an intervention. There's been a disruption. Say, oh, no, 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 no. I got something else for you that's bigger and better than that. And so, listen, I, mean, I went from the Miami Sanitation Department working for Sears as a salesman, selling television sets door to door, being a disc jockey, a community activist, a state legislator, and now a voice of transformation around the world. Are you kidding me? What a mighty God we serve. I'm here because of his grace and mercy. And so are you. Don't forget it. You're no accident. You got to become defiant. This thing called life, it's about a fight. There are a lot of people who are talking about all the people dying from a coronavirus. Guess what? There are far more people that are living like my daughter Serena, like my son-in-law Will. And they've been fighting. And they are winning. Life is a fight for territory. And once you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over. I want you to write this down. Think about something that you want to do in your personal life, in your professional life, in your health in your relationships. Who is it that you don't need to deal with, be in relationship with, communicate? You need to stop the habit of doubting yourself.
Sometimes your circle...